Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of the new save file. We are jumping in again. As you can see here, we've actually got a little bit of a decent streak going. Last time we did a challenge, we went and did the solar system challenge. We've got a few more challenges, of course, to take care of. I'm going to sort of chuck those in intermittently. Like I said, I might do a multiple per episode sometimes, depending on how long they are. But just something that I wanted to propose first before we get into the episode is someone proposed an interesting idea um, in the comment section that for our modded characters, we should add our own unlock conditions. So, of course, none of the modded characters are locked. They're all unlocked from the get-go. So, someone suggested it'd be a decent idea to potentially add our own unlock conditions. Like, one of them they suggested was we have to visit a planetarium before we unlock Andromeda, which is an interesting idea. And, basically, I would like you guys to come up with some unlock conditions for these characters. Job, we've already played as, and to be honest, I think Job, being the most basic character, it makes sense for him to be unlocked from the beginning. But a lot of these other ones could have potential unlock conditions, so please do let me know what you think could be some good unlock conditions for these guys. But this time around, we are a three streak, but I'm going to risk it all and play as Judas in a regular run and see how we get going on. We need to get those mother kills done. Um, ooh, for some reason this has popped up again. Uh, oh, this is Retribution, okay. Yeah, um, do you want to lock some items behind our characters? Yes, okay. Retribution got an update because it, for some reason, wasn't actually, uh, resetting unlocks on new save files, so that's popped up now and it's actually gonna unlock things correctly rather than things already being unlocked, which is good. Uh, very, very good start here on stuff. Oh, you had to blow them up, but... Very good start on our keys, um, gives us a little bit of stuff to go on and potentially, do you know what? This is a room that I already want more damage on. Potentially could buy a, a soul heart right off the bat here. Um, yes. Okay, half a black heart. That saves us. Very, very good stuff there. I also went into the mod that adds the... Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I went into the mod that adds the uh, doubled soul hearts, and I made them rarer. I was saying about how the doubled soul hearts were... Um, Unfortunately, very, very common. I uh, have basically made them twice as uh, rare as they were before. Pretty good item to start off here. And we get a hug as well. Lovely. I do like a good hug. Um, but yeah, so it'd be really interesting to see what you guys have for um, the unlock conditions. As for the question of the day, for the question of the day, what's, uh, what's one of your favourite progression systems in a game that you've played? What's one of your favourite ways of unlocking things and progressing through? I think that's always an interesting question. So many keys. Uh, also, another thing that I just want to quickly bring up to start out the episode, because it's more likely to reach more people the earlier I talk about it. Um, I have sort of said that in the new year that I want to start maybe rebooting some series. I also want to just start putting generally more effort into the channel. And one such series that I really would like to reboot, and I've had the idea of rebooting for a while. And those of you that, uh, that have been here a while might have already seen some of it. Those of you that haven't may not have seen it before. But I um, I at one point had a Darkest Dungeon series that... I was honestly an absolutely huge fan of it. It's one of my favourite series I've ever done on the channel. But unfortunately, just due to the fact that I had a low subscriber count and it wasn't getting quite the views that it that it needed, it unfortunately didn't end up carrying on. Uh, it, we got pretty far in it, but yeah, it's not a series that carried on for ages. But essentially, the series was uh, somewhat of a role-playing series where we play with a bunch of mods, uh, as I tend to do on my channel, um, and we would give all the characters their own backstories and write them diary entries each week and basically build out an actual story of our character's progression through the game and through Darkest Dungeon. And for those of you that haven't played Darkest Dungeon before, it very much lends itself to that style. And I really enjoyed it. But yeah, as I said, the series really needs a, a fairly consistent viewership and a fairly consistent amount of people that are willing to get involved in the writing process and get involved in the character's backstories, things like that. So I'd really much like to bring that series back. It's a series that I really enjoyed when I made it. Um, I think it would be a lot of fun to, um, to bring it back around. But, of course, uh, it, it needs to be a series that people are going to be watching and people are going to enjoy. So, I'd like to sort of propose the idea of you guys to anyone here. Please let me know in the comments if, you, um, if you're if you up for me rebooting the series. I've already come up with a new mod list and everything. 
It's not going to be quite as hectic as it was last time. I've picked out some really, really high quality mods to play around with. Um, and yeah, I'd, I'd really like to, to hear some feedback on, um, I don't know where Secret Room would be here, I'll be honest. I'm just going to leave it. Um, I'd really like some feedback on what you guys would think of doing that. Um, if you uh, really want to see it again, or you just like the idea and you haven't seen it before, um, leave a comment, let me know, and anyone that sees those comments, upvote them so that I can see how much traction it's getting. And those of you that aren't really sure, I urge you to go and check out my old series. Um, it, it'll give you a good taster into what it would be like, or those of you that don't even know what Darkest Dungeon is like, you can also take a little look here. Um, and yeah, uh, hopefully it'll give you a good idea. We do get the Peeper's Eye here, which does give us a bit of extra damage in our other eye, so it's not bad at all. Really like it, in fact. Um... Yeah, so I, I really I really hope that is something that you guys would be interested in. Just because, like I said, it's a series that I, I really held quite dear. Um, I, I, I probably did it for about a year, maybe longer. Um, but it was... Wow, that was an unfortunate hit there. Okay. Things are looking a bit risky now. Oh, we got to look down as well. That doesn't make things any better for us. Oh, God. Enemies that can bop us into spikes. Not the sort of things I want to be trifling with. Ooh, things are getting a little scary now. Um, yeah, it, it, it'd just be really interesting. As well as, like I said, just, just leaving comments about other series you'd like to see. I saw quite a lot of people actually mention Undermine as a series they'd like to see return. And I actually thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed Undermine as a game. So that is certainly another one that I would be intrigued to take a look at. Uh, this is really good, actually. We'll definitely take this. We do have to, unfortunately, fight a kind of hard boss here. In fact, use this because... Um, We've got another room that we can go to here to get our charge back before the boss fight. Apparently you can fake him out of that attack by getting close. He'll try to swipe you, so it's good to remember that. But honestly, yeah, Judas, fantastic character for just dealing loco damage. I really, really enjoy playing as Judas. Um, also, we do have a mod that slightly reworks Judas to have a pretty unique and interesting effect. That being... Um, when you take a devil deal with your last remaining red heart, it will replace that red heart with a black heart. So essentially that means that if there's something in the devil deal that costs only one heart and we only have one heart, we can still take it and we will have that heart returned to us. In theory, I've never tested this, so if I die based on this, blame the mod developer. No, don't really. But um, we'll see if it works. I really want to try it out. Uh, let's go and check out our boss. We're coming out of this pretty strong. Um, I actually want to quickly go and uh, donate to the rest of my shop because this will put us at 100 coins if it'll let us do the full donation here. And there you go. We get store level 2, which is super valuable. Getting our store leveled up is honestly a really high priority. I think 250 is when it reaches its max level. So that's where we really want to get it to as quickly as possible. I'm not 100% sure on the exact uh, of that, but that's what I remember. Right. Bosses are going down extremely fast here. But yeah, so the idea would be that we can check out this Devil Deal and um, Whore of Babylon, if we take it, there you go. Exactly as you just saw there, we took Whore of Babylon, it removed our last remaining heart, and that remaining red heart was replaced with a black heart. So we have put ourselves in a very good position damage-wise here. I extremely good, in fact. Uh, one second. Okay, let's continue on. Yeah, our damage is now in a very, very good state. And this item that lets us freeze a room when we enter, this is going to end up being a relatively speedy run and hopefully a, a somewhat easy mum kill. As I said, unfortunately, these early episodes are going to be a little bit shorter. This might actually be the first run where we can make boss rush as well. I didn't even think about that. Um, they are going to be a little bit shorter just because we don't have as much to do. Angel disc, nice. I didn't know the discs were unlocked off the bat, but it's nice that they are. Oh my god, that was almost a very foolish move there. Honestly, the poison is super nice as well for finishing enemies off. And then we get wow factor. I I tend to not really like this item, but I'll take it anyways. Uh, you sometimes shoot a stream of uh, poisonous tears. It, it can be a little bit laggy. Oh, by the way, something else that I just want to mention. Yeah, as you can see here, we'll leave like a stream of tears there. Um, oh, that was bad. Something else I just want to mention is that Ipecac is back. Um... Pedroff, the, um, one of the developers of the mod, put in some significant time to um, try and figure out what the hell was going on. 
and managed to find what the issue was and fix it. So, huge thanks to him. Um, walking cane, where am I? I do not know what this does, but there you go. Um, yeah, he managed to put in some significant effort to suss out what was causing the issue, and eventually, after a few days of work, find out what it was and, and subsequently fix it. So, Ipecac is back and should be working pretty much flawlessly. I think the EID descriptions aren't currently working. Uh, that might be something to do with my copy of Ibakak rather than the mod itself, though. So don't don't hold the devs accountable for that, because I did some tweaking with some of the uh, some of the things inside the mod to try and. Do, do you know what? This item, it's just it's just laggy. <laughs> I just I don't want it. It just causes issues. Uh, we do have a lot of thingy here. Oh my goodness. We have very good damage now. Very good damage indeed. Can you die, please? Good. good. Not a fan of the bomb chucking, boy. I'm getting hit a little more than I should be here, especially with the low, low health that I currently have. But it's not all bad. But yeah, money damage especially is is in a ludicrously good position right now. We've actually got just an insane amount of damage felt early in the game we are here. Walking cane. The walking cane just moved and then reappeared. I don't know what happened exactly with that. Um, it did give us some stats though, so maybe that's specifically what it does. It just falls around the room and if you pick it up again you get some stats. Physical protection. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure why the EID description isn't working because I pr I'm pretty sure that this mum's toenail, whatever it is, is from um, Repentance Plus, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll, we'll, we'll find out as we go ahead. Don't worry about it. I'm thinking secret rooms here. We've got a lot of bombs to try it out. Second secret room indeed is. Um, spawn an unprimed gigabomb. Very nice. Uh, and then the other secret room is probably up from here. Yeah. Oh, for fuck. I always forget when I, I pick up a gigabomb and then I immediately forget. That was a waste of a gigabomb, but there we go. There it is. I should have really used that on the boss to insta-kill it, but it is as it is. Right. Hey, that's the sort of stuff we're looking for. Lots of extra money here. Now, do we want to just go and full donate or do we want to keep this money for something better in the shop? I think for now we'll keep it for something better in the shop. And we did get a very, very nice uh, boss here. I don't know what items we got there. Uh, well, I know I know some of them, but I don't know all of them. There's another one of them. Unfortunately, not the best thing there. Um, and we unlocked black chests for a second time. I swear we already unlocked those before. So hopefully that isn't a, a, a recurring bug that we're going to keep seeing where things aren't staying unlocked, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, like I said, it might be something to do with the uh, Ipecac being installed and uninstalled. It seemed to be messing with some unlock things, but hopefully, like I said, they're, they're relatively fixed now. We did get Multidimensional Baby here, which is decent. It's not the greatest, but it will help us deal some additional damage here and there. And these items that we got from um, from our angel disc will last us in probably another like 30 seconds or so. Let's get in there and uh, get some extra bombs, why don't we? Might as well destroy rocks while we're here to get a crawl space. It's always worth a try. Speed down, unfortunately. Luckily, we do have a quite, quite a lot of speeds. So that's not a big issue. Not a big problem. Oh my god, I thought I killed that enemy. Whoops. And then... These are spawning naturally as well. Okay, something's going on with my settings, because that didn't save. I definitely set that to false before in a previous episode. Um, visuals. Display mod. We got that set to both. Good. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what's going on with some of these. Uh... It might just be something to do with reinstalling Ipecac. It might be just uh, resetting some of my unlocks and stuff here. But 
I don't think it's that big of a deal. Let's carry on. It might have just reset some of the early unlocks I grabbed. Um, ooh, we do have a glass D6, which is rather nice. And we also have um, Isaac is sad, which uh, gives us a random effect to each room. It's pretty good, actually. Um, we could take this, which is quite wacky. It has our tears moving in very weird formation. I think I'm going to take it, to be honest. I... I like this item. It's a little risky. It obviously makes our tiers a bit wackier, but generally they're not that hard to hit because they still come out of your um, of your face in the right direction somewhat. And then they have a little bit of an extra time flying around where they can hit some extra stuff. So in my opinion, this is good. Also, it does give us spectral, I believe. Yeah, it does. And then we get uh, 120 volt, which I didn't realize was an item that was unlocked off the bat, but a pretty good one, definitely. I do like the Isaac is sad. I never actually played Baba is You. Did anyone else play Baba is You? That, that, that's an, a, a mod that... A, a mod. A, a game. Puzzle game that... It was everywhere for a while. Like, when, when it got big, everyone seemed to be playing it. Dude, I keep getting hit by some really stupid stuff. Okay, we got a, quite a lot of money here. I was kind of hoping for Steam sales so that I could class D6 and re-roll it. But that's fine. But yeah, character is looking rather weird now. Rather bit of an oddball. Uh, I want to try and make boss rush here. I would I would obviously need to get a bit more health before I consider doing boss rush. I think boss rush on 2 HP, even with this damage, is quite the risk. Slightly, slightly difficult boss. I got hit again as well. Not good. That is for some reason an extremely large heart. I'll be honest, I have absolutely no idea why that heart is so big. <laughs> Very strange, but there it is. There it is, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Right, let's try and build our health back up just a little bit. Good room here, we'll go for this. Mr. Me has been unlocked, awesome. Do love a Mr. Me. Spawn 1 to 10 keys. Nice. We didn't really need the additional keys, I'll be honest. Our key situation was pretty good, but still. And we get Mum's Bracelet as an item. I don't think we really need Mum's Bracelet at all. Obviously, I'll pick it up. But I think I'm just going to glass D6 it. And we get Piercing, which is fantastic. Piercing with this setup is actually going to be really, really good, I think. We do have a tainted treasure room here. Shot is small. Our shots are so baby. Right. Oh, bollocks, bollocks. I've just realized these are purple fires. I really need to destroy these purple fires before I consider doing anything here. Thank you. Gain increased tears, range, and luck while all red heart containers filled does not work with no red heart containers. Okay, at the moment, that is not something that we should take. If we get a single red heart container from the boss or elsewhere, then I think we should come back and take that. Because that could be pretty good. Shot is fast. Oh my god, the brimstones there kind of scared me. Honestly, this trinket is definitely making things harder than it has to be. Um, be not being able to shoot exactly where we want to shoot is potentially frustrating, but... Okay, pickup is big, that's why. It's one of the Babra's U effects. That makes more sense. Oh gosh, shot is big, got me there. That's a troll bomb. That right there is a troll bomb. Little Loki. Not bad, not bad. Check out a shop again. We probably want to do some donating here. 4.5 volt is actually pretty good. We'll take that. We'll definitely take the soul heart, and I think the rest will donate. Honestly, 4.5 volt is going to be really, really good with the active we have right now. The ability to, um, to charge it via dealing damage should make boss rush a lot more plausible if we end up going to boss rush. Enemy is big. Some scary enemies about. Do you have to keep an eye on our time if you want to do boss rush? Wow. 
That enemy hit me the moment I walked into the room there. We do have a, a Dharma Mick here. It's a very, very good one too. That's given us the health. Health to give me some confidence about Boss Rush. Good, good. The good thing is as well, it's hitting multi-dimensional baby more often with this tier pattern. I like that a lot. Pick up is big seems to be a very common one. Come on, you. Don't be like this. Liking that, that very short freeze time that we have when we enter a room. Because there's a little bit of time to just suss out what the room is. Okay. Annoying boss here. Not hugely problematic, though. But as you can see, we can use our active again. And it does indeed stack, so using our active multiple times is a good thing. Is that you dead already? Seems to be. You're taking a bit of a while to die. Uh, enemy is slow, that's why it takes so long to die. Decent. I'll check this out just in case. Unfortunately, nothing there we want. And I think we just keep on moving. Unfortunately, the tinted treasure room there was not for us. But that's fine. Not a big fan of this. Oh, this is a really, really annoying room, actually. Get you to come over here. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It looked like a really annoying room for a minute there. We might as well check out the shop. It's a hallway greed. Luckily, we have the mod that makes it so that if there's a hallway greed, you can still actually get to a shop. As long as it's on the depths too, which I really like. A very good addition. We can donate the rest of this money. Just getting our donation machine as full as we possibly can as quick as possible. Something that we really haven't done in a long while, so it's it's quite a foreign concept to us at the moment. It's been a long time since I filled the donation machine to any degree. Wow, two soul hearts and a crawl space here. That is very, very nice. And this is a black market too. Uh, we do need to be wary of time, but I would like to check out what we have going on here. Unfortunately, nothing particularly exciting, but we did get a glass D6, which I will say is very, very good. The, uh, the car battery is definitely something I want, but obviously our current HP just doesn't really allow for it. We will check this out again, see if there's anything different. Move close to an enemy to inflict them with a crippling effect that causes them to take double damage. I think that sounds very good with our current setup. Um, I just realized that I completely and utterly ruined the way to pick that item up, so now I can no longer pick it up. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a room that had a specific effect. Um, like a specific sort of way of getting to the item. My bad. Uh, I think I'm going to take the two soul hearts here. I think it's more valuable to me for boss rush. We only have two minutes to get there now, so I'm pretty much beelining it straight to the boss here. I did take some damage there, but it's fine. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way here, although I can't be 100% sure. I am good. What in the ever living shit is this? This is this this room is called a waste of time. That, that's what this room's called. Like, what is this? Let me out. <laughs> Thank you. God damn, that was an awful room. Wow, anyways. We got here in time. 120 volt doing good. I'm a little sad I didn't manage to get that item, but it is what it is, I guess. Good, good. We get dog food, which I actually don't want to take right now because I'll lose Horror Babylon. Um, hmm. Got belly button. Which is the two trinkets. Or oh, we've got uh, technology, which... 
I don't know if I want, I'll be honest. I think I'm going to reroll both and see what I get. Unfortunately, wasn't super good. But technology could have been interesting synergy-wise. But I feel like damage-wise, we're doing better with what we've got right now. Almost a bad hit there. Unfortunately, our Babu's U didn't give us a, a good effect here. That was a really bad hit there. I just kind of stood there and took it. Luckily, we get to see what bosses we've got going on outside of our vision using that new mod with the off-screen indicators, which is very, very nice, actually. It's going to make boss rush a little more uh, palatable, to be honest, because we can always see what the other boss is, regardless of where we are when the enemies spawn in. We, of course, are going to get some really crazy damage stacked up while we're in this room as well. We're already at 33... Oh, uh, no, four, uh, 16, but 33 when the drums go off. But... That's going to keep rising and rising and rising. Of course, it does have diminishing returns. We're not getting the exact same amount of damage every time we do this. But we're going to be able to do it a numerous amount of times. I reckon we're probably going to get to about 25 damage by the end of all of this. When all is said and done. Especially some bosses that have higher HP. They're going to take more damage. Give us more uh, charges. Really good combination, honestly, with this character. This guy is an absolute pain in the ass, in my opinion. As far as bosses go, I do not like him very much. Bit of a weirdo, I'd say. That's another charge. Yeah, we're already up to 20 damage, and then the drums go off and it goes up to 40 for half a second. Oh, there's a black heart as well. Beautiful. Bit of HP, but our first character to finally do boss rush, which is really nice. It's been kind of a hard road to get here, to be honest. We've uh, had some near misses, and we've had some not-so-near misses of getting to boss rush. But hopefully, soon we can unlock Hush. Get that going. Yeah, 23 damage. Like I said, I think we'll get to about 25 by the end of this. We've probably got like three or four more waves left. Multidimensional baby seems to be helping out a good amount too. Take out the enemy that's actually corporeal first. Oh god, hello, little ghosties. I did not see you skulking behind me there. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, a new boss rush with this character, if we got there in time, would be pretty easy. I got 25.5, what did I say? One more round after this one, I think. Maybe two. I actually got up to 26 here. Enemies like this are the ones that you need to know are coming. Because they can do brimstone from across the screen. And cause you a lot of issues. I think this is the last wave. There is a mod that adds like a wave counter to boss rush, but I actually prefer not knowing. I think it's part of the strategy of it. Not that it adds a lot of strategy to it, sort of sort of thing, but I still like not knowing. God damn. I hate that death can slow you. One of the only bosses, if not the only enemies in the game that can. God damn is it annoying. Right, there you go. Judas's shadow has been unlocked. Crazy Jackpot is not very good at all. When we get hit, it does a random effect. It's not very good. Uh, we do not want dinner still. We want to keep stay where we are and move along. Right, one moment. Yeah, let's keep on moving. On to the womb. Oh, God. I forget how these guys work. Um... Honestly, I'm like I'm actually pretty happy with like where our uh, our run times are sitting right now. I thought everything's going to be a little bit too fast and we're going to be like clearing runs really really quickly, but honestly, we're getting like 30 minute runs here. A little bit definitely shorter than normal, but not crazy short. Um and I'm really enjoying them to be honest. What on earth is that enemy? Really enjoying them to be honest. I mean, this run itself has just become something really cool. We got a lot of interesting modded items. Uh, as I said, one positive of starting a new save file is that we um, we do get the ability to 
see more modded items on average and that I, th I feel like that's definitely the case. I mean, I think at least 50% of the items we hold right now are modded, which is really, really cool. And they're all working in tandem pretty nicely. And then we got this trinket as well, which is probably like, there's not many mods that add worm trinkets. This is one of them. Um, but I, I, as a worm trinket, I think it's really cool. It's kind of like a slightly better tiny planet in my opinion. Cause it's like, it's, it's like tiny planet, but you get the benefit of being able to shoot straight off the bat, as you can see here. Um, and then you get some stat ups along with it as well. Uh, so it's it's really, really good. It's a, it's a lot of fun to use. A heart container. We don't actually want to use that, do we? We do have, unfortunately, King Shithead here. But luckily he was a small one. With not many segments, so it didn't take too long to take care of him. Unfortunately, we're going to be bopping these dudes around like crazy here. Because <laughs> we don't know where the hell our tears are going. There you go. Of course. Wrong way as normal. I love that big pickup. That really, really confused me to start with. I forgot to check what the Babarish U effect even was. Good, good, good. But yeah, I'm excited to I'm excited for this year of the channel. I know that Isaac is of course gonna take a little bit of a hit um in terms of viewership just in general because as time goes on, less people are gonna be watching Isaac, which I say every year, but it's all, it's, it's never really the case. But it seems to be it's dropped off a little tiny bit, but hopefully not too much. Hopefully we can still retain a good amount of our viewership. But then like I said, we're gonna be starting new series, doing new things, trying new stuff, the second channel is uh, of course still kicking and, and lively um, and I really really hope people are uh, checking that out. I know it's already uh, got to like 120 odd subs so there's definitely a good few of you that have checked it out but for those of you that haven't already please go and do it because there'll be plenty of other content that you guys might like even if Elden Ring isn't your shtick. There's going to be plenty of other stuff on there that you might want to see so get ready for it all. Yeah, main channel, of course, is going to be getting just as much, if not more, love. Doesn't matter if we've got a new uh, new channel or not. That's not going to de detract any attention away from what is the main content of this channel. Shot is fast. Oh my god, it is fast. Right. I don't even remember what boss fight was on the last floor. I just, I was talking while killing it and it just, it didn't even register to me. Was it a modded one? I think it was. Shoot the whoop while good, not what we need right now. Although something I keep forgetting about is I really need to be touching everything that I see. I'm not used to it, but really it's a, it's a very good practice for us because we are going to need to eventually have touched every single item in the game to get dead god. Now, obviously, modded ones don't count for that, but at least vanilla items, and so I very much like to um, get that done. I oh, I know that it's, like, like literally not possible, but it'd be really cool if uh, the modded unlocks also counted towards getting Dead God. Like, I actually couldn't get Dead God until I got the modded unlocks, too. That'd be really cool. I realise that just isn't, po it isn't plausible. But, yeah, I am hoping to take this series all the way to Dead God. As long as I'm still doing Isaac, which I can't imagine myself quitting anytime soon. I, literally, the only reason I'd ever stop doing Isaac as a series is if it absolutely died. As in, like, literally no one was watching it anymore. As long as there's still even just a few hundred of you watching, I'm, I'm going to keep doing Isaac. It's it's just, it's part of my daily routine now. It's It doesn't even feel like... It feels, it feels odd not to play Isaac at least once a day. Like, probably today I'm going to record maybe two or three episodes. I want to get a bit of a backlog going after the new year. Ooh, what the hell? What's going on with this rock? Oh, it's a giant polyp. From the uh, Big Props mod. That's a lot of hearts in there. Hey! Unfortunately, Magic Scab is not an item that I want, but... Really cool to see one of those. They only just got added in a recent update to the giant props mod. Uh, really, really cool to see. Right. On to the heart. Unfortunately, this will only be our like fourth heart kill, I think. Is it third or fourth? 
We're not getting those particularly quickly. It's a little bit of a shame because I would like to get on the grind with Hush and start doing the alt path stuff as soon as possible, but we've really just got to accept it for what it is. And there you go. A nice speedy run with a boss rush kill as well. Um, Pickup is you. What the? <gasps> I forgot about this. I forgot that if you get a devil deal... You can go to the next floor. We got Shadow Baby and all that good stuff. Nice. Okay. So we can keep this run going and keep, uh, kill Satan. Of course, we don't have the ability to... I do not know what's going on here. Oh my goodness. Could you... I'm going to say, could you calm down with that laser, please? We do need to be a little careful with our health, by the way. We are not invincible. We could still die here. A tinted rock in this room, though, does excite me. This could be a rather good bargain for us here, and indeed it was. Holy shit, there's so much going on right now. Oh god, there's two of you. you, do, you do you have brimstone? You do have brimstone, don't you? But it's only downwards. It's only if we're below you, so stay in line with you and we should be fine. Unless you dash at me like this, then I don't want to stay in line with you. Okay, good. Not too bad. One more wave, oh no, we're good, we're good. Okay, yeah, we just got to keep our health as high as we possibly can, and we get a pretty, pretty easy and pretty simple Satan kill here, which I'm certainly happy about. This guy does fire homing, so we ought to be careful. Oh my god, I didn't see that enemy in the room, so... Can you die, please, little dude? For every um, full red heart lost in an active room, half a heart is refunded. Not going to be any use to us whatsoever, but thank you regardless. We finally are fighting this guy. The, the shot is small. is really annoying me. This guy almost always hits me at least once because, um, I'll be honest, I just don't know his attacks very well. But we'll try our best to not get hit. It's, it's the laser one that's, that gets me. And so he does the laser attack. That one really gets me. But we managed to kill him. And we got Rift Reward for doing that too. We get um, the Devil Tail taking damage with an empty heart container. We remove all heart containers and give you half black hearts and an abyss locust. Don't know how useful that is. I'll take it anyways though. Really, we should be bombing these as well, just to see if we get anything nice out of them. Still appreciate that Fiendfolia went to the effort of making extra hosts to fit the theme of the rocks on each floor. A shot as big is, is helping us here. But yeah, risk reward, great item to unlock early on. I, like I said, I'm just hoping things stay unlocked. I don't know what the issue was before with... Some of the Repentance Plus stuff relocking itself. But as I said, I think it was something to do with the error that was being caused by Ipecac. That shouldn't be a problem anymore. Shouldn't be something we deal with. Let's just hope that's the case. I do not like the idea of this. Oh my god. Hey, we got a soul heart of it though. Cannot complain about that. These enemies can be particularly dangerous, so keep our distance. Good thing is on the certain fight as well, we are of course going to get um, a good amount of uses of our active item. The damage we deal to him is going to keep stacking it and uh, give us more and more charges. Ooh, hello. A shop here. We might as well buy a bed bug. Why not? Yeah, not too bad. Seems like we're going the right way, but honestly I can't be sure. More bombs might be pretty good. Hey, we are going the right way. Good. Oh, God. Enemy is small. Right. Pop that. Drop a bomb. Didn't quite get the timing right there, but it's fine. Doesn't mean as much anymore now that those enemies have been changed from the leeches into those guys. Okay, another charge there. Now, this Satan does have more attacks now. He is a bit more unique, a little bit more difficult. But with the damage we've got going on, I really shouldn't be an issue for us whatsoever. Careful of the stomps, because now they actually have these rock formations. 
Beautiful. Satan is done as well. And there you go. A very nice fitting run for Judas. And we unlock Judas's tongue. Very nice. I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.